Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Monster Hunter Stories. Today we're getting a super secret squirrely monster, Gokami, which we can get from doing special tournaments. So, hope you're all excited for this episode. We're going to go ahead and get this Monsty and uh, test it out a little bit, I suppose. So, we need to go to the tournament clerk here to get this Monsty, and we need to do a special tournament. Now, the special tournament that we need to do is the Puzzle and Dragons Drake tournament to get a special Monsty. So, we get a special egg upon securing victory for the first time only. So, let's go ahead and give this a shot. Now, I don't think you need to actually connect with anybody. I believe it looks like it's just against NPCs because we didn't have to queue up or anything. So pretty much anybody should be able to do this. Now, you can do these event quests right when you actually rescue Alborax for the first time. And then obviously you have to rebuild it first. Now, I just realized I still had my weird group here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Sir Pegglesworth, the Pig of Destiny, and we haven't used him in a little bit. And it's about time. We do some craziness with Senior Picklesworth here. But I hope you guys are all enjoying the series so far. Thank you so much for the support you have provided. You guys are amazing. I absolutely love this game. And I hope with the success that it's had on the, you know, phone platform, that we'll get more DLC in the future. So, one can only hope, but I'm going to continue hoping. Now, the best way to cheese these is to just attack the rider. And it's relatively easy. So the best way to win any PvP match is just by attacking the rider. It's kind of weird, but is what it is. That is probably a trap for Sir Pigglesworth here. Oh, got him. Look at that pig prance away. What a beast. And power combo is super OP. Now, I don't know how many of these fights we actually have to do. But there's quite a few awesome things that you can get from these special tournaments. So I'm going to be focusing on these for the next couple episodes, showcasing all the things that we can get. We still have to take down Kushala Deora uh, for our, you know, other Elder Dragon equipment. And we still have a couple other things to do. But otherwise, getting pretty close to fully completing the game. Look at that power combo. It just gets stronger and stronger every single time you use it. And it's stupid OP. Sir Pigglesworth here is a freak of nature. Did I really attack the Aptonoth? Eh, ah, it's okay. Poor Aptonoth. Shouldn't deserve a fate like this. Oh, yeah. Alright, so another battle against uh, a crazy lady here and a Velocidrome. Now, we're just going to keep using our Bull Drum. Now, thankfully, it does heal up our Monsies before each fight and character, so that's nice. So, a Velocidrome and a character... Not necessarily the most dangerous of things. Fanged Beast Hunter. Oh, God. Poor Pigglesworth. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. They almost took me down. Fanged Beast Hunter is, is a beast. I hit you with Odin. That should be good. And then we'll keep attacking the Velocidrome just to be safe. The Hunter should probably get the final hit here and we'll be good to go oh yeah gotta love odin zenogers are awesome both the stygian and regular zenoger are both pretty amazing there we go oh yeah oh he fixed all right get a mifrit or odin oh my god <laughs> I keep seeing Irith, and I keep thinking Ifrit for some reason. My brain is is going crazy. Oh man! Oh wow! She just survived. <laughs> Sorry, we'll go ahead and do that. We should be good to go. Should be another victory. I'm not exactly sure how many times we have to do this. Oh look at that! Healing up. Marty Pants, huh? Guess we might ought to do the same so we don't lose a part. Ah, stupid Mega Potion. Sir Pigglesworth is so much stronger. Well, actually, this is a stronger opponent, so it's... 
probably makes sense that we're having a little bit of an issue here. But we're going to bring in the Boldrum for the finisher here. If she's stuck healing herself anyways, then we're not going to have too much of an issue. Is this Velocidrum going to use? Okay. I don't mind getting into straight head-to-head -head here. Oh, of course. Oh, Pigglesworth down, but she's down too, and that's all I cared about. Oh, she's still... She's alive! How is this possible? With, like, one health left. Oh, she brought in Iodrome, huh? Sucks for that. Oh, God, that thing Beast Hunter. There we go. It's still alive. What? Oh, my God. I forgot we can't kill him if we lose a head-to-head. -head. That's, that's what the issue is. In PvP, if you lose the head-to-head, -head, then you don't actually... Um, you don't kill the person. So, slight issue there. And I wasn't thinking with my brain place. Completely forgot the rules of the game. Is what it is. It happens. Oh, and please attack the right person. Or she's using Moxie gems. That might be it. So now this is the annoying part. If you're stuck like this, then you're just kind of stuck. There we go. We finally beat this one. The Fang Beast Hunter thing, or the I think she was using Moxie gems. Um... So that would prevent a faint. Now we got in battle number three. Ooh. A Basarios and a guy. It looks like he's wearing Basarios. Oh my god. It's a it's a hammer, but it's just the Basarios' face. Oh my goodness. What a beast. Alright, so um, we'll go ahead and use the Boldrome again. Almost like Basarios is coming after me. Or after the my Piggles. Poor Pigglesworth. We'll go ahead and attack Basarios with speed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Sir Pigglesworth! Oh, man. This guy hits hard. Nice. Might actually be a little bit of a challenge here. Let's go ahead and blind Basarios here. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. At least we got the blind down. Oh, definitely need to heal Sir Pigglesworth now. We're not going about this the smart way. I don't even have any of my most powerful monsters with me. Just <laughs> uh, a slight issue. There we go. All right, Piggy. Let's go ahead and take this Basarios down while we're while we're going at it here. Oh, switching it out to the bear is smart. All right, so this might be a little bit more of a challenge than I anticipated. Eh, not really. It'll be fine. We just need to get some some stuff going on here. That should work. And we'll keep attacking. Oh, uh, Barreth is attacking me. Oh! Where'd he get another big barrel bomb from? I thought he could only have one. Or is it two? It's probably two. Odin, you keep doing your thing. I'm gonna use a mega potion. And, uh, hopefully we don't die. There we go. We need to get some kinship up. Right, there's the first heart. We need to either get into a head to head, -to -head or do a counter. Now, let's see here. So, Odin's gonna do a Thunder Supercharge. That's what he does. He loves to waste kinship on Thunder Supercharge. Um,. Now, I guess we should probably heal him up as well, just to be safe. So, we lost a heart. I didn't... Somehow he was able to place two shock traps. Not quite sure. I mean, I, I guess I could edit mine to do that. Um, let's see here. So, place two shock traps, and we ended up dying because of that. So, this is what it is. But we didn't lose. We just lost one heart. They're down to, to two heart, or down to one heart left. And Sir Pigglesworth is here to save the day with some power combos. Next power combo should be all we need. So we can go ahead and use power combo on Basarios here. And we're going to go ahead and cheer him on. What should cause it to be a... Oh, no. It should cause it to be an Ono. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Oh, never mind. I stole one shot. Oh, but they live technically. Man. We're just going to doubly go after Basarios here. Uh, doubly go after Barrett, I guess. Come on, Piggy. Oh, yeah. On to the next one. So we know Nargakugas are weak to lightning, so we're going to go ahead and bring in Odin. And we're going to start off with this against the green Nargakuga. See if we can actually get a one-shot here. I don't think I don't think we'll be able to quite get a one-shot, but it should be pretty good. Come on, Odin. I'm a believer. Oh, wow. That green Nargakuga does a lot of damage. we go for the kill here? If we fight and use a speed attack, we should get the kill here. Unless it heals first. Oh, we've got speed up. Dodge a crit rate up. But it's dead. So, first heart down. Now, this should allow us to do nothing. Okay. <laughs> this should allow us to do exactly nothing. We're going to heal Odin. Oh, wow. Getting them out already. GG. Um, do we save it? I think we save it. What is he going to do? Oh, he's going to do uh, Thunder Tackle anyways. All right, let's just go ahead and heal ourselves. And we'll use a well done steak instead. Or we'll die. That'll work, too. This Nargakuga is pretty powerful. Oh, wow. I could have one-shot it. See, we don't want to, though, because technically we use Kinship. Oh, why do I keep using Speed Attack against something I know uses Technical? What a disaster. Oh, bye, Green Nargakuga. I didn't want to waste Kinship on that, because I knew what would happen. So, we should be able to take both of them out with this attack here. He's not attacking me this time. Ah, switched him out. See, that's why we didn't want to do that. But Odin here decided to do his own thing, and it was a disaster. Oh man, I am almost dead. See if I can actually heal myself before I get attacked this time. Thank you, Jesus. Ganging up on my poor. That does not do as nearly as much damage as it needed to do. So I think we'll keep attacking the hunter here. Where's an ogre? Oh, come on. Let me heal him. Thank you, Jesus. Breaking brush. Oh, my God. 210 damage. Nice. And there goes that fight. On to the next one. I imagine we're going to have to fight somebody with the actual monster that we're trying to get here at the end. Battle number five. Ooh, Devil Joe and somebody with full Devil... Or, oh, that's with the, um, the special armor there. We got Devil Joe Hammer and Devil Joe. I imagine this Devil Joe is probably going to hit like a truck. We're gonna try and take it out as fast as possible. Again. Maybe we'll get a one shot here with Odin. So he's using pump up. We know this thing likes to use power attacks. So once it uses pump up, it's probably gonna use gluttony. So we, oh, we don't have any kinship though. Uh, okay. He's gonna attack me, he's gonna attack me. Power attack, I knew it. Devil Joe loves to use power attacks. Oh, how dare you blind my Zenogre? He did not like that one bit. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and just target the hunter there, shall we? Wow, my character took a lot of damage. They're probably going to try and gang up on me. Let's we'll go ahead and do a well done stake just to be safe. Poison Kniffy. Oh my god, one shot. Ouch! 
All right. We gotta go with the original plan. Just go after the character. Going after the, the, the rider, sorry, not the hunter. These peoples don't hunt, they ride. All right, let's go ahead and use straight guard. Actually, no, we're not, we don't have enough stuff to do that. I guess we could probably, do I have anything? Nope. Right, we're gonna try and attack Devil Joe, who's not attacking me. Oh, and he's gonna attack boost on, oh God, now they're riding. You need to use Thunder Tackle, maybe? Maybe this will get us a bunch of... Oh, it's not even attacking me. Uh, yeah, Thunder Strike. Just get the one shot here. Get them off ridings. We know we're going to lose a heart if it uses its super duper epic penultimate attack. Goodbye, Devil Joe. Oh, it lived! It lived! doing the same thing coming after me we do the speed attack we're gonna die but if we strike first we might live but we're not gonna strike first maybe our monsteel strike first there we go and we'll go ahead and try and heal through this come on odin Get out of here. Yeah, they switched. Oh, Stiggy and Zenogar is also weak to lightning, so that's good. Ooh, dragon attack up. Oh, man. This is rough. I think we heal Odin. No, we're going to need to heal ourselves. Because we know they're going to keep coming after us instead of Odin. Because it's, it's the trolley way to do it. Even the NPCs know that. Oh, God. One more of those and we'll be good. Maybe we'll switch it out to the Bulldrome to get this final attack in here. Watch us get trapped. I'm going to be so butthurt if we get trapped. Why would you place a power trap, a shock trap, on a monster that doesn't use power attacks? Thank God. Dragon Smash! Not today, son! So I imagine there's probably gonna be one more after this. Oh my God, this thing almost, almost got me. Poor Pickles. Didn't sign up for getting attacked this bad. Oh God. Whew, thought that was gonna be a one shot. this of course voltage cannon oh is that their kinship ability or voltage crash oh god okay who's gonna die is it pigglesworth or me i love the Zenogers. oh my god it attacks both what oh my god all right so we went and switched it up to our actual good monster combination now we've got quicksilver here who's a freak of dragon wyvern flying flap flap nature um so we're gonna go ahead and power up with solar cry here basically we can kill both of them at the same time using the same attack and it's using one attack and it's pretty awesome so we're gonna go ahead and do that um i kind of want to increase defense maybe but i also don't feel like wasting any of my armor skins i will put a demon drug on here so we can one shot them but uh, maybe you know what they could one-shot my character i'm actually gonna put armor skin on my character for once just because i want to make sure i get through this this time <laughs> not much of an issue oh man they've got an aoe attack too aren't they special so let's see how much damage infernal breath does without boosting stats too much and we're gonna go ahead and fully heal quicksilver here count tagu might die Oh, wow, that didn't do any damage to Devil Joe. Oh, man. 
All right, plan slightly thwarted, but not too bad. We could use Blazing Strength, but we're going to try and get him down before that. Now, if Devil Joe's not attacking me, interesting. He's using Spread Dragon Breath again. Of course. Kill him. Right, one down. Spread Dragon Breath sucks, but... Oh, man. This was not what I expected to be going through today. Oh, nice. Devil Joe down. Sweet. That was perfect. Now, what we could do is we could go for another Infernal Breath. And hope... Well, they don't have Kinship up right now. So what we could do is... Completely restore a party member's HP and one heart. Nah. Nah, I don't think we want to do that. I think we might just fully heal Quicksilver. And Count Tagu might die again. There we go. Oh, that breaking crush, though. Pretty strong. And this should be all we need to take him down. Unless he fully heals. Uh, we could use, like, Inspire or something like that. I feel like healing is more imperative at this point. Oh, no. Devil Joe of Doom. Coming to ruin everything. All right, maybe... Mayhap we should switch to Odin here. There we go. Devil Joe is weak to thunder. Let's see if we could do this. And can we heal ourselves too? No, we can't. We could can do a cheer. If it uses his kinship ability, we're done. I wonder if we could blind it and make it miss. We're gonna pray. God. I'm going for broke. We're attacking Liva with this thunder attack, which should be pretty good. Come on, that should be our last heart. And then we should go on to the finals. There we go. Nice. Perfecto. Thankfully, they didn't attack with Stiggy and Zenoga with the AoE attack. Now, this is the final. There we go. So, this is the armor that you can get by doing the armor quest and then that is gokami super strong dragon now i don't know exactly what it's weak to but it's probably not weak to fire since it's on fire so we're probably gonna go ahead and maybe switch it up to odin and see how that goes now he's using technical attack let's let him do that we need to build up some kinship here i'm feeling this thing's gonna use power so i'm gonna use speed nailed it Oh, thankfully that trap didn't get me. There we go. Building up. Oh, wow, that thing does a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and do Thunder Supercharge. And is anything attacking me? It doesn't look like anything's attacking me. So we could go ahead and do... I don't have any traps on me. We could probably blind it. Maybe, um, now we'll just go ahead and heal ourselves. I think as long as we attack the hunter, we'll be fine. Oh, wow. They're going after him. His name is Lid. Interesting. Uh, Mega Potion on Odin. Get him, Odin! I'm proud of you, buddy! Oh, not a one shot. Alright. It's close. Close, but no cigar. Try and thunder tackle here. Um, man, if I didn't have to heal him every time, I think maybe if we inspire him. Oh, pitfall trap. GG. I should have known. I usually avoid using any skills that are specific because of the stupid traps. Actually does quite a bit of damage with the sword too. Um, I don't have a lot of. Let's go ahead and use a surrogate gem on him. Oh, poor Odin. There we go. We 
We're switching up for Sir Pegglesworth here. Because uh, Gokami is a little strong to Thunder. Oh, Gokami impact. Oh my god, did both of us die? Oh my god. What a freak of nature. Let's go ahead and try and take down Lid here. I feel like what we need to do is focus on defense for the pig if we're going to be using him. Oh, God. Get him, pig! There we go. At least we got one heart down here. We just got to be careful. If it uses kinship again, we might be screwed. Uh, let's see here. We can use a surrogate gem. Let's go ahead and flash pod this thing here. God. Restorative stance, okay. With at full health, not a bad decision. Right, so this should be our second heart down. I decided to use an ancient potion just to be safe. Uh, to fully heal our pig and to regen a heart. I feel like it was a good decision. Now that our power combo is charged up, this with cheer might one shot lid and we'll get our Gokami. Oh my god. Get him! Yes! We did it! Nailed it! We are the champions, and we get our super awesome egg! I'm so excited. Kantago, congratulations on your victory! This is for you! It's the prize for achieving victory in the tournament. We got herbs, dragon noodles, rock salt tuna, frozen mushrooms, queenly paler, kingly steak, oh. Blazing egg. That's what we wanted. So if we go ahead and go to our little hatching area, we can get our little, uh, a little baby awesome fire lightning dragon thing. Hatch eggs. Oh, look at that egg. Now we can only get one egg. That's all you can get. So you can only get it the first time you defeat it, and that's all. Beautiful. This thing is pretty awesome. Uh, so we gotta name it. We gotta think of a good name. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and call it Ifrit. I think it, it kind of fits. So let's go ahead and check out the stats and stuff that we got on this egg. And we gotta get him leveled up a little bit. And give him a little bit of a test. So it comes with 120 HP, 30 attack, 5 speed, and 32 defense. And that's because we got two bingo. Oh, we got three locked slots on here, though. So it comes with uh, fire resistance small, fire boost large. Very nice. That's the Gukami Jeem with fire attack up three and fire resistance two. Negate burn. So we didn't get any good. No speed bingo there. Comes with dancer unscathed gene. That's pretty nice. Healing efficiency up four. Uh, fire resistance medium and head to head gene. Head to head ace. Interesting. We got Inferno Blast, deals fire damage to all enemies. Uh, Dancer increases attack and speed when HP is at full, and greatly increases the kinship gauge when you win head to head. That's pretty nice. Interesting. Now we just gotta get this thing some levels. Now, the nice thing about this, we did get Kingly Stake here, which uh, Monsty grows at a massive amount, and then we've got Ancient Panacea. I don't even know. Uh, but let's go ahead and see how much XP we get with the Kingly Stake here. Uh, so that gives us up to level 9. That's not too bad. If you guys didn't know, that's what those are used for. <laughs> now, the ancient one here is actually pretty good. So this should get us up to, like, level 20. There we go. Perfect. So this thing really does look awesome. I love it. Now we just need to get the armor by doing the other um, event, the, the special event, which will... Probably pretty good. We'll probably do that in another episode here. But um, I kind of just wanted to test it out. I guess we could test it against one of the bajillion Cephadrome over here. Or not. Cephalos. Ooh, there's a rare monster down over here. We're going to have to check that out. So, let's see. We did see it fight, obviously. Oh, man, we have no kinship. Is he going to die here? <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. I was going to one-shot it at level 24. Poor thing. All we can use is defensive stance. 
Well, it's too low to test at high rank. But um, if you guys join in during the live streams, we will showcase this thing off much more. I'm going to work on getting it leveled up as much as possible. I can only get it to level 24 with items right now. Gun surfers. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy getting your own amazing monster like this. And I'll be showcasing more of the special things that you can get in this game in future episodes. So don't forget to subscribe and share your support and smash that like button. And I will see you all in the next one.